Hello, this is Ivan for watchandlearn.com. In the last episode of the Building Sites with Middlemen series, uh, we learned how to make pages and we learned how to use partials. In this episode, I'm going to show you how, how you can install a blogging platform uh, on top of Middleman and how you can make articles in Middleman. So to do that, let's go to the Middleman documentation first and if you go to their doc files and click on blogging right here you will get this documentation on installing a middleman blog so this is an official extension or plugin for middleman uh, to allow you to blog why do we need a blog well since we're redoing this site as you can see this site is actually a blog so we have this video tutorials text tutorials and a blog in this episode I'm going to show you how to how you can set up uh, a basic blog but in the further episodes we're going to use that blog to make custom types uh, or custom types of uh, articles so uh, let's say we're going to have a special blog for video tutorials for text tutorials and for actual blog so let's get to it first of all what you need to do uh, you need to copy this line right here so gem middleman blog copy it uh, go to uh, our middleman gem file so if you ever used Ruby on Rails this will be very familiar to you uh, so we're just going to add this line right here okay uh, and now whenever you are add a gem you should run bundle install so that this gem would be installed on your installation of middleman if for some reason this doesn't work for you you can run bundle exec install but I think this will work for me so just do bundle install and we wait of course uh, middleman did this very actually Ruby did this very fast for me because I already have blog installed and so on from my previous projects but if you don't have it it will take some time for it to in, to it uh, to actually install now the next thing we need to do we have to activate that blog so we're going to go right here and copy these lines so activate blog and go to a config.rb file to activate it so I'm just going to go right here above this set CSS lines and JS and so on and I'm going to add this line right here so I'm activating a blog right here in config.rb saving it and what we need to do now is uh, just start our middleman server okay so the middleman is loaded right now I'm just going to copy this URL from the server add it right here and this is our page where we left off so what we're gonna do now is make our first article at least I hope we will because I hope this blog actually works so I hope there won't be any problems so to make an article you do this you go to your terminal and you just do middleman article and you give uh, that article some name so this is our first blog post okay I think that should be it press enter and as you can see uh, middleman created a file for us called 2015 10 10 this is our fir first blog post dot html dot markdown so if we go to our sublime text as you can see this file is right here so the middleman uses markdown files uh, to create your post types uh, to get a display like this you should install let me just tell you what it's called you should install 
markdown editing plugin for Sublime Text. You just install that and then all of your markdown files will look like this. So it has some stylings and so on. So we can write first blog post okay so this is header one if you want to make header two you can do this is a subtitle if you wanna let's say let's just create some lorem ipsum text right here so I'm going to do this okay if you wanna uh, highlight this word or make it bold you can do something like this and this will be bold okay so I'm just going to save this file right now and if we go to our middle main site we will see nothing yet why is that uh, this is because we don't have any kind of linkage to this particular post so let's make a list of our posts on the index page so under this, this is where the content goes. I'm just going to do H2. Check out our blog. Okay, and in here, I'm going to do some uh, middleman or Ruby programming logic. So first of all, I'm just going to add some BR tags right here so that we can have uh, a little bit of spacing between this h2 and our actual blog and then we're going to do something like this blog article so we're going calling this object right here and then we're going to do zero dot 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 and how many posts you wanna have so let's say we wanna have five posts listed on our front page so we're going to do five and then we're going to say each do and some pipe right here and then we're going to uh, name our variable which is going to be article okay so this is a for each loop uh, that it's, that it's going to go through this uh, blog uh, object and it's going to display our blogs I'm first going to end this loop right here okay and then in between these two R ERB tags we're, we can write the layout of our blog so first of all I'm just going to uh, write out output the title of the uh, blog post so we do ERB and then we do equal sign right here and uh, write article dot title so every article has a title for this one it's this is our first blog post so it's taking the title from this front matter okay so if we save this and refresh the page we get an error just a minute uh, it should be articles here not article okay save now refresh okay so now we get this this is our first blog post okay just before we go any any further I just wanna add some styling to the fonts so that we can see what's going on a little bit better so I'm just going to open up let me see okay my gulp.js is running and I'm going to open up my fonts.scss and just paste in some code right here so this is just uh, uh, this is just some stylings for the fonts and I'm going to do body font family let's say Helvetica okay and I think that's about it I didn't 
turn on live reload right here okay so now we we can see what's happening a little bit better so this is a header this is a footer uh, now we can see the difference between h1 and h2 tag okay let's get on with it so of course if we go here right now and click on this n this doesn't work obviously because we didn't make uh, make it a link so we want to link this title uh, to the actual blog post so what we're gonna do now is open uh, anchor tag h RF, close the anchor tag and just going to write one more ERB tag right here with equal sign and do article.url so this is going to give us the URL of the actual article and we save this if we refresh uh, we don't need to refresh it because live reload works now and this is our fir first blog post as you can see now we have a link here and if I click on that link it should take me to this blog post okay so this is our first blog post and as you can see we have some text right here we have this subtitle uh, this title this is a header this is a footer and so on okay so this is the way you would list your blog posts uh, of course we are going to go into much further detail uh, into what you can do with this later on in uh, other uh, next video tutorials but for now you can j list your articles just like this so if I let's make one more article so let's make one more post I'm just going to add a BR tag right here and let's do one more I'm going to close out of this gulp watch and do middleman article this is our second blog post do this and it created one more blog post and if I go right here and refresh this page you can see that now I have this second blog post right here if I click on it there is nothing there it's an empty blog post we can go in it and add some add some content to it Hello, and just going to add some lower mipsum text right here. Save it, and if you, we refresh this page, we get this. Okay, so this is it for this tutorial. In the next one, we will be talking about uh, multiple blogs. As you will see, having another blog on a middleman site, it's like having a different custom post type in WordPress. Also, we will learn how to make a template for generati generating those different kinds of articles. Uh, don't forget that all of the code that we used right here you have on GitHub repository. I will leave the link in the description below uh, if you're watching this on YouTube. And if you're watching this on my site, you can find it below the video. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please like it. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, also, you can follow me on Twitter or on Facebook if you like. Uh, so, thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.